Sal Inter now here from Lincoln Financial Field where Army posted a 28-13 win over Temple. What a win for Army. This is a program defining win. They start the season with a win on the road for the first time since 2010. That was their bowl year where they went 7-6. and six. They came in here 0-13 at Lincoln Financial Field with 10 losses to Navy and 3 losses to Temple. Well, that's gone now. What a performance in the second half from the Black Knights, uh, especially a fullback and Andy Davidson, um, you know, just was a workhorse for the team and had had close to 100 yards in the second half. It's, it's pretty incredible and uh, scored two touchdowns for them. He finished off, um, you know, Temple with a 17-yard run with 228 left. Um, you have to give a lot of credit to the defense, too. Marcus Hyatt had a pick um, in the first quarter. Kenneth Brinson had a pick in the fourth quarter. That kind of sealed the game for Army also. Um, Alex Ackerman had a couple sacks at linebacker. You know, Br Brinson had a really good game all over the field. Um, made a couple plays behind the line of scrimmage. Jeremy Temp with eight um, tackles to senior captain. Um, you know, you, you just have to really give Army a lot of credit. Going in here, they were a 15-point underdog. Um, you know, it, it just, um, you know, I thought that if they played Temple strong into the fourth quarter, that would be a win for Army. Well, they did one better. They won the game, and games like this can only help them down the road. Next week, they play a Rice team that lost to Western Kentucky pretty bad in their opener, and they're, they go to Mikey Stadium. They, they come home. So, you know, this is this is a uh, – I can't really put the right um, emphasis on the, the, this big win for them. Um, Ahmad Bradshaw played great at quarterback, made great decisions on the pitch plays, uh, finished with 50 yards rushing and a touchdown. Um, Jordan Asbury with 53 yards. Um, Darnell Wolfolk was really good giving Andy Davidson a breather. He chipped in with 12 carries for 50 yards. And what a difference from fullbacks from one game this year to last season. Coach Munkin made a move, moved Andy, Andy Davidson from linebacker to fullback. Darnell Wolfolk was around fourth string last year probably one of Army's most improved players in the weight room and on the field, and it showed today, both of those guys. I mean, when you have your fullbacks combined for 171 yards on the ground, you're going to win a lot of games if you're running the triple option offense. Um, only one pass, well, two passes completed for Army. They didn't need to pass a game today. They just really uh, wore down Temple in the fourth quarter. Um, drives, 12-play TD uh, scoring drive, 12-play TD scoring scoring drive 14 play TD scoring drive Tyler Campbell finished that one off with a 12 yard run what a performance by Army uh, you know being in the uh, visitors press conference room you can hear the team singing on brave old Army team echoing through and into the media room that's how excited the locker room was um, just incredible saw Brent Davis run down from the, uh, the booth sprint onto the field find Am Ahmad, Ahmad Bradshaw give him a big hug Give Davidson a pat on the back. Lots of celebration. Coach Munkin hugged his wife uh, before the alma mater was played. Uh, just, just a lot of emotion. A big win for Army, and see if they can uh, build on it next week uh, when Rice when Rice comes to town. Mikey Stadium Saturday noon kick. Thanks for watching. This was Nightcap. I'm Sal Internal for RecordOnline.com.